So, good to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so, welcome everybody. It's July 26, 2022. Uh, welcome to the Conservation Commission meeting for the City of Lemonster. I'm Nick Krent, the Conservation Agent, and uh, I'll just remind everyone if you have any devices, just please put them on silent uh, at the top here so we don't get any interruptions. And let's get with that, I will uh, turn it over to the chair, Chuck Raymond. Oh, you do the roll call first. Oh, ro roll call. Okay, so roll call for the commission. Um, Kenneth Ridlow. Present. Mike Seeky. Present. Rich Gullick. Here. Jeffrey Moyne. Present. Uh, Chuck Raymond. Present. I am here. <laughs> and uh, Liz Ricci Blair is absent at the moment, but expected to probably show up soon. So. All right, good. We shall see. All right, right, thank you very much. All right, All right. welcome everybody. Um, uh, first item is uh, under new hearings pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 131, Section 40, the Massachusetts Wellness Protection Act, the Lumberton Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on a request for a determination of applicability, or RDA, regarding the installation of a fence, address 593 West Street, Map and Parcel 452-20. Is anybody here to represent that project? Me. Welcome. Hi. Oh, and I just, I did not I recognize you until, you. yeah, I just realized, oh, that must be Debbie. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Can you, can you introduce yourself? That'd be very much appreciated. Yes, I'm Deborah DeAngelis. I live at 593 West Street. Okay. And would like to install a 4 foot fence. Um, not the entire property, just to the left side, to the back of the pro property, and then around to the middle of the property. Okay. Is, is there a map? Yeah, that's that top map. Oh, right that's the top one? Okay. Yeah. So the fence is the dotted line? Oh, here we go. Resident proposed fence, proposed gate. Yes, with two gates. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, two gates. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. And what is, where is the wetland here? So the stream flows. Oh, it's a stream? Yeah. It flows like kind of around the property and flows under the street there. It's a new brook. Oh, is it? Okay. Yes. Let me just let me take a quick peek at the, the, the pull my maps and pull up a quick okay. peek at this. Okay. I have a rough idea. I just want to make sure I know. And is, that, is that an actively flowing stream? Yes. Year round? Yes. Is there water in it now? Yes. Slowed down quite a bit. But <laughs> <there>. <laughs> it's a trickle. Some fish are having a tough time, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. Backed up. Oh, oh, so oh, it's not in there. Okay. I'm sorry? Is it backed up against the hill? Um, or well, no, there's no middle in my area. Right, right, right. Yeah, because I don't know. That was just. That's behind the house. I see. This is where the house, right here? This is the house, yeah. This is 593. And this is where the fence is to be put. It's the dotted line. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So this is subject to work to Because it's perennial stream? Yes. Next to. Oh, I can't. Okay. Who are your neighbors on the side? Oh, come on. We, 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 we just started. Left? Oh. We just started. You're, you're good. John. 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 I don't know what the last name is. Right. And then to the right is just the, the, my area and the stream that goes under the bridge. Short the Do you know where the spring culminates? Um, is it the plant? No, actually, I don't. It's just the gas line that you can. This is the house. All right. Um, There's not broke. Can I ask a question? Uh, Lose my chance on very easily tonight. So how about, do, do you know how far, first of all, actually, sorry, back to my original question. The fence is gonna be, is gonna be built of what? Wood. Which is wood, wooden post and? Three posts and uh, four foot high. And okay. wire mesh in between. Wire mesh in between the posts? Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, oh, that's it, okay. Was yeah. just another example? Okay. That is, but yeah. All right. Okay, so uh, what kind of equipment are you going to be using to put it up? Just hand, going by hand and no, I'm having I'm having somebody put it in. I don't know how they're doing. They'll probably dig it, dig it into the ground. Post hole, post hole digger, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. You know, I imagine probably mounted on a tractor. I imagine. Mm -hmm. You can do it by hand. Yeah. Um, I'd almost rather see it, not, not by hand, but a, a hand drill rig versus a, a tractor mounted drill rig being this close to the stream. I, 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 my, I personally would, would appreciate it. There are gas powered post hole diggers 
Okay. Um, the, uh, yeah, the, 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 yeah, yeah, exactly right. This, yeah, the, the auger. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not looking forward to not looking forward to, to dig it for the shovel. But I, I prefer to see something other than a large tractor mounted. Okay. Postal digger. So keep any kind of equipment motorized equipment out of there. Basically. Please, yeah. Do you know about how far that that closest corner of the fence to the stream, about up to the brook, about how far is that, do you know? I don't know. Okay. From um, from me being there, if I had to estimate maybe 30, 40 feet. Okay. All right. Uh, all the fence is gonna be within the yard area though. No, understood, understood, yeah. but but the, it, it is it is a slope does the whole thing slope down to the brook? Uh, it's pretty flat. Is it fairly it's flat? Pretty, it's yeah. fairly flat, yeah. <coughs> Is that from my recollection? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, 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 I it, and then this all sounds, uh, oh, so this is an RDA. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't say this. So yeah. I'm thinking NOI, it's an RDA. Yeah, it's just um, an RDA. And then yeah. I would just like to say typically fences that aren't going to restrict wildlife are exempt under the wetland yeah. protection act, just because of the proximity to the stream and everything okay. like that. So it's typically something like this would be exempt, but because of the location of it, that's okay. why All right. I had to go and, and, the, and the fence is being constructed for what, ma'am? Um, just, just a fence in the backyard? Well, I have a dog. I have a dog. like him to, okay. you know, still he's still like being it. on a leash all the time. Okay, yeah. The dog's outdoor. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. So okay. Take the fence. Well, I don't let him, I don't leave him out there for very long. I let him go, do what he has to do, yeah, let him look his, at the birds and whatever, and then you know. It's his restroom. <laughs> Basically. Well, sure, I love you, Argy. Let the dog out there. <laughs> I um, I, I don't have any other questions. Anybody have any other questions? I have any other questions for me, Daniel? Watch it here. I don't think so. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How many posts are being dug for it? I don't know. I honestly don't know. And when the spring starts? Uh, it starts at the pond. Yeah. The, um, yeah. It's yeah. up well, on. Uh, no, but I'm not taking all the Starts at the pond. Yeah. 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 Start. Like eight. Well, the pond is. Yeah. And then there's an overflow, and the overflow yeah. is then. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, it's it's a Rockwell pond. It's a. It looks like the one up just just the side of the Dell Ave. Yes. Whatever that pond is called. Yeah, that's Rockwell. Broach's pond. Broach's pond. Yeah. Okay. I just moved in, so I'm sorry I don't have the full information. Um, any more questions? No. No, okay. Do you have a recommendation? Uh, yeah, so based on the extent of the project and uh, the topography and everything, I would suggest that we, I would recommend that we find a negative determination specifically that it is within the buffer but is not going to impact the resource area. Okay. Uh, which negative determination? It'll be number two. Number two. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'll ask for a motion for negative two determination on this for the RDA. I will make that motion. Okay. Second. I'll second. Okay. Uh, Ken? Approve. Yes. Uh, Rich? Aye. Liz? Aye. And Chuck? Aye. All right. Motion passes uh, 6 0. So you have a negative determination, you're able to uh, build the fence. Okay. Thank you very much. You are and, and again, if, if, they, if, they, if they can you not use a tractor mount to draw it, that'd be okay. good. If yeah, for whatever reason they have to. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And any follow up questions, always, you know, All right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. No problem. Have a good night. All right. Have a good night, then. All right. Moving on. Continued hearings. Pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40, the Massachusetts Women's Protection Act, Plymouth Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on a notice of intent regarding the construction of a garage with paved driveway. Chicken Coop and Associated Site Work, address 689 Wachusett Street, map and parcel 358-1K, DEP file number 199-1158. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. How are you doing? Long time no see. Yeah, really. Oh, yeah. West, so I was at the last meeting, uh, about a month ago now, uh, the commission asked that the uh, coop be uh, removed from its location, relocated. Mm -hmm. uh, we had submitted an updated plan uh, showing such that a 12 by 32 coop would be located on the front left hand corner of the property. Yeah, you have copies of no, the that just, no, if I had one, great. Okay. I, I remember. And so that that was what the uh, I guess resolution of yep. this would be yep. to, to build it over there, and then uh, obviously remove the the coop where it is now, yep. and then uh, go from there. Yeah, have you have you since moved the coop since yeah. last time? We, yeah, we have not. Yeah, okay. okay. They haven't started. Oh, the, the way you worded it, it sounded like it already moved. No, okay. no. So they have not started. The okay. So, 
Don't and worry, that's, that's fine. Where we are, and that's the update. All right, so we 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 we've got the members here for to for a quorum to, to vote on this. Well, which ones? Well, you, you, you might remember, recall which ones were here at the last hearing. I wasn't here actually at the last oh, hearing. That's right. It was other. Yeah. It was. I believe it was Ken, Mike, Rich, yes, I was here. you, and. Isn't it? And Jeff sure. was not here. Um, yeah, no, Jeff, sure Jeff, 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 is it right. just Jeff that, that has to recuse himself? Correct. Um, he did not yeah, watch, he, he didn't watch the meeting. Correct. Right. And he was right. going to, was it, two hour? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no need to put anybody through the torture again. Yeah. Um, okay, so so the five of us will vote on it then? I want to make sure that we're, yes, uh, I mean, yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I will then uh, entertain a motion to approve the NOI for uh, the described work uh, as evidence in the most recent plan at 689 Wachusa Street. I'd like to oh, add some talk about that first. Okay. okay. Um, I'd like to make that motion, but have it include the, not just the approval of the driveway and the garage to move ahead, but to have the coop move first and have the agent go and, and inspect it and make sure it's moved prior to the construction of the garage. So, uh, gentlemen, is that okay with you? The chicken stay move, out move, of there. Move the coop first? The, 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 yeah, that's, that was our plan to begin with. Yeah. No, that's the plan we've talked about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we, we talked about that. Yeah, no, I just, I just want to make sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so if you can make sure that that's in the... Um, right, so I, yeah, I have some, uh, I have a draft of the special conditions typed up here, and as a prior to construction condition, just that the coop is fully moved and constructed before Support begins on the garage. Can we read those three sections for them? Yes, so exactly, and the wording here. So, prior to construction, uh, before beginning construction of the driveway and garage, the new chicken coop will be fully constructed in the proposed location outside of the 100 foot wetland buffer, and all chickens currently inhabiting the present coop will be moved to the new location outside the buffer. And two, under that, the conservation agent shall inspect and approve the new coop location upon its completion and prior to the start of the construction of the garage. So just so that we know and everything is, you know, tidy, just I'll come take a look at it, make sure it's good. And along those lines, when do you, when do you think you, you, can, you can have that coop and chickens moved? Ish. It's probably about two weeks. How about the two weeks? Two, so let's so say two weeks from Friday? Two weeks yeah, I'm, right? I'm hoping. Well, okay. just, you know, everything. Right. So the reason I'm asking, because I want to make sure that Nick, Nick will be available. You're not yeah, getting vacation times or anything. No. So I'm going to make sure that he's going to be available for you yeah. so you can do this as quickly as possible. Okay. Yeah, I, should be, I should be around. And okay. then also, yeah. just ask. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yes. How do I go about contacting you? When... I will, I'll get you my, uh, I'm still waiting on business cards. I'm sorry, but I'll give you my contact at the end. Okay, well, okay. Yes. Um, if you have an extra one of these, it's got your email. And oh, number. yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you can take one of the agendas. Yeah. Um, and then one more condition as just a perpetual condition after this is done, that reintroduction of chickens is prohibited and the chickens shall be housed in their new location outside the 100 foot buffer. Uh, the location of the old coop shall be kept free of chickens to allow uh, the recovery of wetland soil and vegetation. Yeah. Sounds good. I make that motion. Too very good. With those okay. conditions. Excellent. There a second? First thing. I will second that motion. Thank you. All right. Ken? Aye. Uh, Liz? Aye. Jeff? I recuse myself. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. He recuses. And Chuck? Aye. So the motion passes five ayes, and uh, you have your order of conditions, sir. Thank you. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. Guys. Thank you. And now, Good luck. Um, you I, would you, could Thank you stay you until after the meeting and I'll... It's, it's, not, it's not a long agenda, we won't be here very Yeah, long. I actually, I was going to yeah, talk to you about Pierce Street, too, if we... Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I don't think it's on, on there, but I know we were talking about it. Okay. We're trying to set up a site walk, and I know we've been okay. kind of delaying that, but I could give you an update on that, but if you want to... Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we can proceed on the agenda then. If you, yeah. yeah, again, it's, it's not a long agenda, so... Perfect. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Thank you. All right, thanks, Wes. Thank you. Gentlemen, thank you very much. You're gonna miss not seeing you every meeting. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, jump in over. Get out of here. Go do your stuff. Yeah. We're gonna get ready to do a three though. Yeah, all right. We have an open. Get wet. Sorry, it's on there. All right, moving on. So I'm gonna make sure I cross off that. And uh, all right. New business. First one, possible new commission member. Uh, like this. Yeah. So I got an email last week uh, from. He is a volunteer with the Trail Stewards oh. currently. Um, that's about all I know from him. Okay. Um, but he just said that he's interested in becoming a commission member. So okay. I sent his email along to the mayor. And as, as far as I understand it, he's the one that's going to kind of make the next moves into seeing that. So if the mayor is okay with it, then um, 
I'll be bringing you guys more okay. info about it. And I don't know if we, I'm not sure if we need to do anything as a commission. I think he's, he's just appointed by the mayor, right. correct? Yeah, right. so. There's an interview process. There's an interview process with the city council. Yes, with city council, yeah, that, 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 that's all. You're swearing in. Yes, yeah. 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 I interviewed with the city staff. Yeah. Did you, I, 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 did I, a remote, I did a remote with the city council. So I, that, I yeah, came in and met the mayor. And yeah. then when everything closed down, I ended up on a virtual thing to city council. Okay. Too, so. That's right about the same time as I did, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. So, uh, so I, I told them, you know, keep me in the loop with anything. So any process going forward, I've asked to be involved with and, I'll keep you guys and that's our one opening right that is one our one opening okay. yes and cool. we've had one person send something in interested so he might he might end up being the, the one okay great okay. Well, good. that's a, a source that's where i came from being with the lemonster trail store oh is that right okay. and i heard about it through an email oh. through that group i figured the opening you know yeah. a year ago ish i figure people coming from there is probably a good pool of people yeah. to yeah. pull from so. yeah. okay yeah good enough that's it which is the exception. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Yeah, well, no, we got <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, 321 Willow Street, post-visit discussion. Yeah, we had a second visit. There were several of us last Friday morning. Yes. So uh, Mr. Doobie, was that last name? Doobie, yes. Okay. So, right. yeah, um, Mr. Doobie here, he doesn't have a application or anything to present, but if you want to come sit up here and, you know, talk about your your projects here and what our next expected steps are. I don't have the NOI done. Okay, that's yeah, I'm right. sorry. We weren't. This is very confusing to me. To I've never had to fill out anything. I don't. Ooh, totally it's confusing. It's confusing for us sometimes. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm here to answer any questions you guys have from the visit. Right. Um. So just uh, for people that weren't uh, there, um, just to give you some background, I had driven by uh, Mr. Juby's property. I saw some mach a machine there, and some machine work had been done, but we hadn't gotten any permit from him, so I contacted him. Um, he had been doing some work uh, around uh, what is a dry stream bed now, but is a, a perennial stream flowing behind his house. Um, so I explained the process to him, told him he has to stop. He has stopped any work uh, going on there. Uh, I just informed him of the NOI process and just the whole process of going before the commission and everything. So he understands all that now and he's in the process of working on an NOI. I, I believe your plan was to Put install a garden. The original plan was to install a garden. Yes. Uh, but with some issues with the neighbor and property line, I've decided to make that area a compost and brush pile area. Okay. Um, and the area we're talking about is the the colored satellite map, um, and I've highlighted on there kind of roughly where that stream is flowing around the back of this house. It comes from under the road. It comes from the left side yeah, of the yeah. of the road, yeah, and flows up uh, back around and around. Kind of in a clockwise so the, direction. The, 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 the garden he wanted to was uh, over here, mm -hmm. um, but this this is the other side of the stream, and the neighbors over here. So he's he's, he's gonna just keep that. Would you say a brush pile? Yeah. Yeah. Are, are you gonna have a garden at all over in the, to the side? No. Of, no. Okay. I'll, I'll be behind the house. Too. Is is the but you you also want to put that pool and deck in still, right? Eventually off the garage. Yes. Okay, but that's that's is, is is that on the table right now or are you? Yes. It, okay. All right. So he wants to put a a, a pool and deck somewhere in that area. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, Rich, one thing I wanted to just chat about. I know we were talking about um, advising him that it might it might be cool for him to, to get an engineer and so we can get all the measurements. You no, know, particularly that close to this to the stream. No, I think exactly, exactly where everything. The whole the whole property is subject under 131. If the wetlands delineated That's by true. a site visit. That's true. Why would you waste money on an engineer at this point? That's a good point, but but and I, I, I actually I forgot about the rivers. Actually, thank you for bringing it up. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of 100 feet from wetlands, I mean, just because 100 within 100 feet doesn't mean you can't do anything. No, no. but we, we 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 can condition it. Of course, right? Didn't right. Say that at all. Yeah, right. No, no, just, no, I was just suggesting right. the same that Ken just did. Yeah, yeah the wood spend money because exactly. you're mm -hmm. already within the buffer. And I, mean, I think that that might probably be better spent on the next question. Yeah, the next yeah. questions. questions. <laughs> yeah. no. So. Well, I mean, if he's going to develop plans for his work. I have a preliminary map and plan. Uh, if you guys want to take a look at it, it's not professional quality. Well, we, we accept. I mean, it's, we don't sketch earlier. Oh, yeah. Sure. Where are you, where are you, where are you, where are you yeah. Yeah. Um, you need to 
Did anybody have any questions uh, or any, any for for Ms. Dewey or, or, or just discussion topics you want to bring up? How does he get over the stream to that? He went. So there's a, yeah, there's an access yeah. road along yeah. the left side of the page. You go up here, just, like oh, right. So all right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, we didn't came, we came right. down this way. Yeah, no. Originally, we thought you went across there, but now you're yeah, dropping, it's dropping it's around. There's a there's an old kind of overgrown road okay. in here, and you went down that way. Uh, I think one of the advantages that so he has. And, Commission can, can consider this is that the property where he's working, as you can see, the property uh, slopes away from that street. So for him to be able to push fill or debris or anything into, into the street, he's got to go out of his way to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, at least that's in, that's in his favor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? So uh, the, 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 the Rivers Act is, is, is not as high on my, in my knowledge base as the Wetland Protection Act. Um, does anybody here have a, a, a better working knowledge of Rivers Act and, what, and what, what that prohibits and what it allows? I'm not sure that's needed here. Yeah. And this counts as so because it's all the water, 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 water body okay. Right. 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 wetlands at. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and if it's not navigable, it doesn't flow all the time. So yeah. I think 131 is probably more applicable okay. than the yes. rivers act in this particular case. Okay. So. That's correct. Was well, 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 uh, asking asking an expert in the audience? Did you have any? Did you have any? any, any not really. Thoughts on this? No. You prefer not to say anything? I prefer not to say anything on that one. There you go. Not knowing enough about the property. Understood. Understood. Um, Mr. Dewey, what, 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 what were you hoping to do first? Next. Oh, next. Then. Next, uh, on my map there, it would be area, f I believe, five and six. The uh, area next to the garage with needs to be cleaned up with the boulders and stumps and dirt. Mm -hmm. Right next to the garage. And, and in front of the house, too. Okay. All right. Um, and what do you propose to do with the stumps? And the stumps are going to go into the brush pile or out into the compost area. I don't know if that's allowed. Stumps, I believe, have to be disposed of offsite, don't they? I don't. I don't know. Honestly, you can't when you're when you're uh, digging in a site now, building a house. Any stumps that are pulled out have to be taken away from the site. You can't yeah, that's the opposite. Can't bury stumps. What do you, what do you mean, opposite, Liz? Like you can't take it off site. No, I think you, well, I you can't bury them. You can't bury them. Mm. Can't bury didn't them say you can't bury them. I didn't say you can't bury them. You're just going to put it in this compost. Just, just don't you know, put it over there where that cleared area is and just let it sit there and rot. Throwing it in a wood pile. I'm going to look into that, uh, the stump specifically, and then yeah. just the brush pile in general. I'm not yeah. sure what some of the regulations are around putting brush piles and compost in the buffer zone, but I'm I'm going to keep you abreast of all that and I'll, I'll let uh, everyone else know yeah. about that. And again, this isn't any kind of an NOI filing, it's just kind of an informational thing, so. Yeah. So be, that would actually help him out with his mm -hmm. NOI filing if he, if he oh, chooses to do yeah. that. Yeah, any, uh, any I'm, I'm an open book for you, any access that you need or any help with this, like I'll, I'll do my best to, to help you out with filling out the NOI and any information you need. So You, you won't charge much. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, thank you very much. So, uh, area five and six was, was is oh, I see. Okay, yeah. So the what's ten is is is, is that the deck or is that the pool? Uh, I'm not sure without looking at it. Uh, this on page. Oh, thank you. Area ten, deck and pool. Okay, and what is six? Oh, all right. Okay, that's just the area there. Okay. All right. Yeah. So uh, basically, uh, any because you're so close to the stream there, um, we'll we'll need to see how you are going to prevent any kind of sediment from flowing off the construction area towards the stream. Well, first of all, we'd have to have rain, and we'd have to have water in the brook. But there will be. That's the point. Um, so it's just it's typically it's typically either. Um, uh, uh, Bales of hay or or, or straw wattle, mm -hmm. just something to keep sediment laden water from washing down in, in, into the stream. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to is to keep sediment out of the stream, keep keep it as natural as possible. Right. All right. So we need to see that. Um, Nick, anything else you, you think you think we, we need to? 
Um, we you know, we need to see distances from you know from the from from the any construction area to that to that wetland. We'd like like to see the in an NOI. We'd like to see the wetland area actually outlined. Um, the, the 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 vegetated wetland. The whole thing is. Yeah, yeah. but the one that's true. The whole thing is. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's true. Well, the whole property is like that up by the house. That's not part of the vegetated wetland. Just that very lower. No, it's in the buffer zone. Right. It's in the buffer zone. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there, I would presume some of that was vegetated. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not too concerned with this, the, the area up, up by the house where he's been doing that. You had to take on part of the wall for the. Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm not. That's not too much of a concern of mine because you get dry and everything else in between. But it's it's the pool and the deck that that that, that is is of concern to me. So again, we need, need to show where, where where you would put that that um, straw and or or hay. Ooh, that's mm -hmm. going out behind the house on the left hand side. Is that right? No, it's gonna it's just, going on the right hand side of the garage from the street with a big brush pile it currently is okay. yep. all right thank you and also it looks like if you uh it's not you get the, the shed's gonna when you say shed needs to be level you mean you mean removed the, uh it's currently uh the post cement columns that uh, is sitting on yep. have sunk yep. so it's just kind of leaning there. oh so so level as in yeah, make, yeah, make yeah, level, level. Oh, yeah i wasn't sure if by level you mean Flat. No, oh, all right, no, leveled out. Um, and if, so, if uh, with that in mind, then if if you, if the machinery does need to be brought in, uh, that's close to the, to the stream as well. We'll, we'll need some, some type of deterrent there to, to keep sedimentation out, out of the river, the stream, river, brook, whatever it's called, mm -hmm. out there as well. Um, really, the scope of the work, if I remember it, is I mean, there was a, a tree that you pulled down in the back um, that was leaning on the house. Yeah, Jack made So, it worked all the way around. I think the prudent thing to do would be erosion control around the whole stream on your property, because right, well, yeah. I mean that's that's just going to keep you out of mm -hmm. it's that's it's, fine. it's not that expensive and, and uh, it's going to keep you uh, from uh, any unintentional violations. That 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 shed is a little bit more work than I think you think it is. And construction is not in our venue, but it is pushing towards the stream, and there's a a big pile of metal, rusted metal, that I know that I think we we'd like removed from. Yeah, that was from the previous owner, though. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it, no, no, no. We're, but I think that's that's something that should be high on your list because that. I, I think it's an old swing set. Is it? I think, it? I think it's what it is. You won't be swinging on it, will you? No. <laughs> but I mean, if we pull that stuff out, I think would be, would be helpful. And there were some there were some plastic toys and other things. They probably weren't yours. They were probably from a neighbor. But yep, from the neighbors. Uh, is they have decided that my property is theirs, so they use it as they wish. As a junkyard, yeah. I mean, you can just be cognizant of anything that you might find paint cans, anything that might might cause some problems with the stream. If we just pull it away, and you know that'd be a, a goodwill thing. Okay. We'll want to find that stuff later on. Yeah, I know that they're across the across the stream where where you've been doing the the, the, the grading work, whatever you want to call it. Um, I know that there's a gas can in there. If you can take that gas can out of it, I mean, oh, yeah, it's it's just, I haven't had a, a chance to. I, there's a gas can in the chair out there from when I was trying to cut down things with my chainsaw. Yeah, no, there's a, no. Cheer, cheers on an issue. If I can get yeah. a gas can out of it, mm -hmm. there's no problem. Um, yeah. Can we do that with Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, the other thing is the electronics. Right? Those, are, those are hazardous. What electronics? We've got a pile of receivers and that stuff. That's yeah, and they're waiting to go to a smash it company and. Just, just those are just the kind of things. Mm -hmm. Out of sight, you know, Huh? Except by the garage. Your list of things on there, uh, area two, you were hoping to build a, or dig a, a, a hole essentially to you, water Yeah, the a, a little pit into the stream to be able to sink a, a little pump to water my garden. I'm guessing that's a no go. Uh, I know. It's a and, uh, yeah. and number three, you had uh, yeah. mentioned possibly damming up the water to do that. And I, I think that's one. Yeah, there'll be, no, there'll be no damming of the water. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. All right. That's all state law. Yeah. So I'll take a. I'll take, do you mind if I take that copy okay. with me? Okay. okay. All right. <coughs> I'll take a look through that. Yeah. Just, you know. Can you get us a copy? Yeah, I'll make some copies and send them out to people. 
no loss on the stream right now. Anyway. What was you that? Said you can't water it now anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, throwing, I'm throwing that one back. Yeah. <laughs> and, and just for your knowledge, there's a place called S&M Farms in Fishburg that does have the wattles and, and all of that stuff. And they deliver stuff. So then, the member, I don't think you can do that. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, we can, I'm sorry. Recommend there are places where you can go and yeah. purchase those. Local. Yeah. <laughs> Always buy local. Several local yeah. resources. Anybody else have any, any other questions or points of discussion they want to bring up? Well, we have Mr. Newby here. All right. I'll continue. Uh, I, I again recommend that, that you continue to work with Nick on getting that, that NOI filled in properly. Good luck with it. It's 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 uh, it's it's. Uh, it's Particularly when you first look at it, it's, it's going to be it's going to be a challenge for you. Mm -hmm. But we'll we'll work with Nick, mm -hmm. and he'll work he'll work with you through that. Yeah, it's only four pages, and I think it took me about two hours just to get through about half of it, and, and most of it I left blank. Yeah, yeah, yeah it can be kind of complicated. So it, yeah. really seriously, like don't ever hesitate to reach out or call me. Or if I can't get back to you, I'll get back to you. If I can't answer, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But I'm I'm here for you, really. Mm -hmm. So. And again, if, if, if it's within your means, um, somebody who does, who does those things all the time uh, might, might be a decent investment for you, save you a lot of time and, and, and headaches, but that's, 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 a, that's up to you. you all right, do you, you, you have any more? It is a lot of work. Yeah. And I don't mean the application no, for this, but <laughs> it is mean the real work. Yes. Jay, do you have any I, questions for us while you're here? Yeah, there's a cease and desist. I'd like to be able to do the, the stones in the front of my yard and, and move those. It's out near the road. It's not. Can, can, can you work with them on getting at least allowing them to do the work on those? So, those yeah, I'm going to, yeah, we'll say, because I think your entire property is within the 200 foot buffer, but I mean, does, like everyone's saying, it, in front of the house, that's outside of 100 feet from the stream. and. I don't think anyone's really concerned with what's going in on. In front of the drive, the end of the driveway where I'm. If you're coming, if you're coming in the driveway, the stuff on the left. How about how about if we just stop, stop over and explain what you want to do so that we're all everybody's on the same page. You know. Okay. Do that. Well, or at least. I, think I, think I can point it, just point it on the map. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think we need to stop out again. I mean, um, if it's fine with the commission, I don't think no, no, it's, it's the, area five and six. Yeah, yeah. My I don't have a problem. With that. I think that's far enough away from. Okay. And I think if he's removing this kind of junky stuff that's there in the front of the house, that's yeah, that's good. Probably better anyway. Yeah, for, yeah. You know, the, yeah. don't think want that getting washed out. So right. yeah. So if you if you can work with him on that season, is this just to make sure he, he can he can at least clean the place up a little bit? Yes, that'd yeah. be great. Yeah. So just get in touch with Nick about not only on the NOI filing, but also the season is this. He'll work so, with you to get that stuff cleaned up. So. Just to make it official, I'm not really sure. It's a it's a verbal cease and desist right oh, now. Right. It's, it's, you're, you are not allowed to do work in the buffer zone without a permit. So I'm just I was just informing you of that. There's no enforcement order right now, but if it's fine with the commission right now, I mean it'll be on the minutes. Could we can we say you know he's okay to remove what's in front in the right in front of the house in that area five and six like you said or it's off the matter is it going back around behind the stream or is it no. moved off site? It's going to be moved to an alternate part of the of the site. Yeah. Of the site. It's going to probably be moved toward the backyard because I want to use those stones to shore up the erosion area. Let me. How about we we'll, we'll meet and you can discuss what exactly what you want to do, and I can. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, well, the, the, I mean, two of you can meet on site. I don't think we need the whole. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's yeah. That, but I'll let the commission know what we're talking about. Yeah. But I'll just see exactly where we're at and. Yeah. what you're talking about exactly. mm -hmm. from how you described it i do not believe there is a cease and desist in existence because, because, because it's verbal mr duty of the law well it's not it's a not really? strictly verb there was there's an email attached to it okay so. that okay yes. when just verbal okay. that was not just verb that's not yeah i misspoke there that okay. Okay. Not just say see a cease and desist there's no some kind of order what i what i yeah what i meant by that there's no enforcement order out right now it's just i communicated to him via email that he has to he, he needs a permit to be doing the work in the buffer zone. Yeah. Technically not a cease and desist store, then, right? That's what Is I've it? been. That's what I've been calling. Okay. That's what. Yeah. Matt, that he, was he, your interpretation, by yeah. 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 So, so yeah. the reason I asked to go back out again because we had talked a little bit about stabilizing the bank, and we talked 
every week about riprap. And well, I think what I missed that part of the kind of Ruby is, is saying that he wants to use some of those stones to stabilize the bank. Right. And I don't, so I, I, I'd like, you know, I think we need to. I'm not opposed to, to putting them into a pile and then doing the second but I, step. But I think that's the conversation so that we don't miscommunicate and you don't get yourself into. No. Into some trouble. Yeah, right? these would just go into a pile and yeah, it's, it's a few minutes out. away, and let us help you. You know, determine what, what would be what would be good, and you know, shouldn't rip wrap the stream or any of that stuff until mm -hmm. you know we get the uh, order of condition. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, everything's I'm stopped. Everything right now, and okay. we're yep. trying to get all the permits straightened out. Okay. okay. Right. Well, good. Yeah. So again, just stay in touch with stay in touch with with, with, with the agent and. Uh, and at some point, hopefully, you'll, there'll be an NOI filing, and you'll, you'll come back in front of us, and we'll, we'll, there'll be something to look at, and we can, we can take a vote on. Okay. Are you, are you all set? Do you have any more questions? Uh, I don't have any more. Okay. All right. All right, we'll get it in. That's your turn. Thanks for Thank coming you. in there. Thank you very much. Good luck with the application. Thank you. You'll, you'll be hearing from me. Uh, I would certainly hope so. I really do. If you need to. Yes, okay. please do. Thank you. All right, have a good night. You do. So that's, was, was that all this? Yeah, oh, so, no, the the so the photos are all of uh, Mr. Doopey's okay. property. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, all right. So, yeah. All set. All right. Yeah. Moving on. Recommend to vote uh, on the first one. Accept Nick Krem, present here as agent of the Conservation Commission. So we yeah, have Mia recommended to me that we hold a vote on this and then have a record of it uh, with mm -hmm. with the Registry of Deeds. Okay. Um, the main thing that I want to do this is, uh, what I want to do here is uh, revolves around the second item there, which is to allow me to sign on behalf of the commission. So what I want to avoid is like, back in COVID time more Angela, there was a, there was a vote to specifically name Angela as someone that can sign on the commission's behalf. Versus always having to come in during COVID and sign. Right, right. so she was able to e-sign for people and not necessarily run around and get her own signatures. Okay. Because she's specifically named on the certificate of vote, we need to have another vote. And Mia McDonald suggested to me that we hold two separate votes, one to, uh, for you to accept me as the agent of the commission mm -hmm. and to work on uh, the behalf of the commission mm -hmm. in any capacity. Real quick. It, yes. The city hired you. Yes. Yeah, so we can reject you. I don't know why <laughs> she. Why is I don't know why she. I, I defer to her in a lot of things, you know. Yeah. But I don't know why she said. To well, she, I, I imagine she runs across quite a few local bylaws across the, in the area. Yeah. That it has yeah. something to do with that. So maybe something to do with that. But mm -hmm. I don't see what the harm would be in just you know having that vote and then. The second vote would be the more important thing is just to allow the agent in general, which would be me because we just voted on me being the agent. But then if I'm, for whatever reason, absent or someone has to st stand in my place or I leave and someone new comes in, like it happened with me, so that we don't need to hold another vote. Okay. So we can kind of continue our business and people, whoever is the agent. So allow the, non, so allow the agent, not necessarily you. Yes. Whoever's the agent at that time. Yes. Okay. So ex no. so we'll vote to accept me as the agent of the commission, mm -hmm. but then a second separate vote to whoever is acting as the agent to okay. give them permission to sign right. for the commission. Um, um, I think the two legitimize each other is what it is. Is one, one yeah. We're all accepting that Nick is a person of trust in the agent, and secondly, that he can vote, uh, he can sign on our behalf if we're not available. We're give, giving him the right to sign. Where would that language be recorded for allowing the agent? Because does it change if we change commission numbers? And then does it go into like the commission's bylaws? Like, where, where I think that's a good point. Recorded? I believe it follows the commission, like with whoever, that these Just numbers change or come off. Just yeah. as they're standard operating procedure. Right, okay. yeah. Um, but to do that, so, so someone would have to uh, make a motion to accept me specifically as the agent for the commission. I'll make that motion. Well, that would be, uh, be, uh, I'll get to that in a second. So first, we yes. need to accept Nick Crump as the agent of the conservation region. So I'll, I'll accept, it. Was, that, is that, was that your motion? Yeah. Okay, that was the first one, okay. Second? I'll second it. All right. Uh, Ken? Aye. Rich? Aye. Liz? Aye. And Chuck? Aye. Okay, so motion passes. All right, and whoop, just gonna come back. So the second part of it, uh, I'll uh, accept a motion to allow uh, the Perfect. agent, whoever that happens to be, oh, 
Oh, so I'm sorry, Brian, I'm saying you're going to issue right now. Yeah, for everybody else to ask their questions before I start to learn that. So under what conditions are you signing for all of us? Um, to, to that authority? To sign for, and this will be written specifically in the certificate that I draft up and bring for you all to sign. Actually, can we have that draft before we vote on it? Thank you. Sure. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, so because whatever we read great, into yeah. the record will have to be official. And we'll that that good point. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yes. All right, that's good. All right. Thank so, you. Right. So, so, we, so we, we, we have fully voted to accept Nick as the agent, but we would like to see the text of what we will be signing in terms of allowing you to sign out on behalf of us before uh, we vote on it. Is, that was your motion. Well, that was your question. Uh, right yeah. Now. Yeah. I'd like to know what the authority is that yeah. we So uh, let me answer that, and then maybe I don't know if you feel comfortable voting for, on this after. But um, so the wording is going to be, you know, reflected in the minutes, whatever the, whatever the commission had voted on. So it's only going to be, I'm only going to have the power to sign for you based on how you actually voted in the meeting. I, 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 but we, can, the only issue I have with that is, because mm -hmm. we'll, uh, we make a motion, we're kind of off the top of our heads right now. Mm -hmm. And I think we, but based on this, I think we went, no, I, I think we would rather have actually something in written so we can see how it's worded. Sure. Yeah. That's fine. Vote on. That's fine. As opposed to just making a motion off the top of our heads. No, I agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm shaking my head. Yeah, so if you do that, that'd be great. I, know. That's right. Right. I okay. thought after we met in person, like, that was going to be a thing. It's yeah. sounding like me is saying that that is a possibility. Um, yeah. And she's sort of like the. It's it's more so to avoid the scenario that we had a couple like the last few times where like if we no, vote on something that. now and then like, two weeks from now at the next meeting I'm gonna come with the papers to get everyone's signature but maybe not everyone's here mm -hmm. and then I have to you know. Well, yeah, Angela used to do it like she'd have the papers ready. At that yeah. meeting. But yeah, then he has yeah, so I don't refuse to sign. Granted, I, I I joined during COVID, mm -hmm. uh, so I, I didn't sign anything until until. Right. So like that's, that's, that left. was just my question. Is I thought that was just put in place because of COVID, and now yeah. I'm assuming. Well, so and so. it it was that originally was it was because uh, it's list and it named that in the certificate of vote specifically. It was like because of the pandemic, um, but this I just think that would be a good tool moving forward just in case I'm not able to get into contact with you guys after and if we have you know if if we come up with conditions during the meeting and then I have to draft another thing for you guys to sign so it's I mean it's all at your discretion if you don't if you don't want to have that as an option I mean you're I would free to vote I did two things one I would draft up the, the language so we know yeah what the rules are going to be and then two I would double check to make sure that that is allowed only because that having Angela sign was part of the emergency right. you know, right. provisions for exactly. COVID times, which are now lifted. Right. Um, yeah. It helps that she's not here because then we don't have to wonder if she can still sign or not. Right. But um, you know, that's, I would I would double check to make sure. Okay. That's yeah. All. Sure. I, I do think something needs to take place though because there were some orders of conditions that sat in the city clerk's office for several weeks people who are trying to get work done, you know, how, how difficult it is to get contractors, how difficult it is to, to get things scheduled, and they were sitting there for two weeks on Sunday. We can't, we've got to have a way to oh, be able to expedite that. I don't, I don't disagree with the intent and with the, the motive behind it. I'm questioning whether or not it can actually be done. Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Okay. Yes, so, yeah, so all, both that'd be great. Yeah, so I'll double check on that and then I'll have those drafts uh, ready. Okay. Uh, okay. If you can send them to us in advance of the meeting, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 let our thoughts or, you know, or take or take <laughs> to articulate. Right. I will get those to you this week. <laughs> Any other questions or concerns before we move on? No? Okay. You were the only one that was on a commission pre COVID, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, nothing under old business. Certificate of Compliance, Johnny Appleseed Lane, DP, file number 199-405. Right, so I don't have the number on there because the original order was for like lots one through six and whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't sure if this certificate was for the, that entire, all those lots or whatnot, but it was just for 111 Johnny Appleseed Lane, okay. um, which I visited today. Um, it's 
the order of conditions was from the 90s, so the house and the yard have been there. They're everything is stabilized Kids are growing all, college now. yeah it's like there's not you know so it's it's pretty much done and as far as i can tell everything was done correctly there's nothing unseemly going on right now so nothing agrees you're standing up yeah, yeah. okay all right anybody have any questions i don't have any questions no so i would recommend to uh approve the certificate of compliance i uh, would accept the motion to um issue a certificate of compliance for do you, do you want to call it 111 Johnny Appleseed yes. Lane? Okay, it's to do a compliance for 111 Johnny Appleseed Lane. DEP file. DEP file number 199-405. I'll make that motion. Thank you. Second. Mike? <clears throat> Aye. Uh, uh, Jeff? Aye. Liz? Aye. Chuck? Aye. All right, motion passes. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. All right, uh, nothing under extension permits. Uh, communications, Recreation Department is seeking input slash approval on New Hill Street trail map. Yes, so I've uh, in front of us. so there's a couple of copies out there you might need to look on with a partner, um, but that's the newest draft of the map that the trail uh, steward sent me. They are trying to unify all the maps, uh, standardize it, you know, with yeah. the same colors and the yeah. same sort of style. So that's citywide, you mean? Yeah, yeah. citywide for all the trails. So, okay. um, so yeah. I, I, I don't, I mean, I, you guys know a lot more about the trails than I do. You're really, without hiking them, I don't know. Yeah, right. Any so, kind of, uh, input. Um, what was that again about the standardization? So they're standardizing all of the, the maps and... Trail Color coding. Yeah, Color -coding all the city usage wide. around city, like trail maps in the city. There's a numbering system for the posts and all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah. they'll have kind of like uniform nice. colors and just style and stuff like that, just so it's... Like I, I know, yeah, I, used to, I, used to, I used to work in Acton, and they, they've got a lot of conservation land in Acton with different colored trails, and all the trails are shortcuts, main loops, everything else is all, they're all, it's a standard color coding system, so I imagine that's what, they, what they're doing here. Yeah, I'm just, I do the standardized term that got me, I just meant not quite following what they mean by that. There are other, for example, there's a whole, the whole blue trail, the blue stack trail is yeah. miles. This is a whole separate blue now. This loop is not that trail. Right. right, right. That confused me when I was over there. There's also a yellow loop that's right. not part of the yellow trail necessarily. Right. Yeah. But I guess that's how they're doing it with the loops around this particular. What, yeah. I mean, this question: What would they do if we didn't approve it? I mean, do we have to put all the trees back and the vines and everything else we cut out of it? <laughs> you know, I th it seemed more like a goodwill kind of thing, just so yeah. that, like so that we have. You know, some consistency and just so we're up to speed with everything they're doing, and they're not, you know, moving ahead on stuff without letting us mm -hmm. know. Um, so, yeah, because Hill Street is con it's on conservation land, isn't it? Yes. So, yeah. So yeah, because it's on conservation land, they just you know they were giving us the option if there's any changes or anything we'd like to add to the map, or it was more so like if there's something that we don't see there that we'd like or uh, fortress, you know, fortress. Let me climb around. Okay. Yeah, right. Watch the birds in the field. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Just castle. So there, there's a, an overlook there where you can see part of the yes. city. Yeah. Um, again, they got the different loops. It's designed it's by a professional, yeah. professional trail designer, Dick O'Brien, who works with the trail stewards. He yes. does this for a living. Mm -hmm. Yes. And a lot of people out there working. I did a few weekends myself. Um, and it also has components for um, off road bikers, mm -hmm. the bicyclists. Yes. Um, so, you know, where it's like a little two spots for the trail to go and so on. So they, they pay a lot of attention to how it's done. Dick's very, very picky on this, mm -hmm. so, which is good. Okay. So in that sense, I personally would accept it because I wouldn't want to mess with it, so to speak. Sure. Do, so do we, need, broke. do we need an actual vote? Uh, they would like us to just approve it as a commission. So, I okay. mean, as long as there's nothing... Um, that's really bothering anyone about the map. It looks good to me. I've, I've hiked around uh, most of those trails so far, and it seems pretty accurate. From what I can tell, I'm sure they've double checked on that. Okay. But uh, yeah, so I would recommend that we vote to approve the map. I hiked it on a guided tour with trail stewards. Oh, there you go. around the field and through some of the loops. So. I will then entertain a motion to accept uh, to approve the New Hill Street trail map. I'll make that motion. Second. Second. Thank you, Ken. Uh, Mike? Mike. Rich. Hold on. Does he have to recuse himself because he's part of the trail students? 
I'm in butter, right? I, I dried it up originally. I'm in butter, yeah. right? That's it. No, no okay. Okay. Yeah. So this one. And uh, Liz? Aye. And Chuck? Aye. All right. Motion passes. Map is approved. We'll have a bottle of tea here. That paint. So I guess it's like. Can I, uh, can I bring up a related item, or should we put it on uh, an agenda for a meeting? I think if we have, if we discuss it during the meeting, it has to be on the agenda. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. If it, it, it's relative to this, so I would like to. Yeah, I'm sorry. You'd like to what? Put a put an agenda item on a future meeting to okay. talk about. Yes, just, just to send thing. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, so uh, moving on. So we don't have anything, any other issues on the on the agenda that that would require people to be here. Are you folks here for particular? Just talk about it. I'm sorry? There is the trails. The, the trails. Oh, 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 okay. So okay. You, were you both here for the trails? Okay, so I want to make sure we weren't, you, you, you weren't here for something that we weren't prepared to talk about. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Any, any comments? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thank right. you for coming. Um, so we, we, we've got nothing else to do. Uh, West, do you want to jump in? Yeah, so just quickly, so I made. Apologize for the delay on the Pier Street project. I know. Oh, just before, there is it is on the agenda. It's still waiting on the updates for meeting minutes. Um, yeah. Michael Huffman is. Oh, you talk about okay. Yeah, she's one of the. Uh, Caitlin Huffman is, works at the city clerk's office. Yeah. Her husband was doing the meeting minutes. She's had some personal issues, but he's still working on through the minutes. Okay. All right. From what I hear. So okay. we're, I haven't gotten any updates on it, but he's still going to be doing. Okay. It. So Good enough. Just a, if anyone's wondering. Okay. Sorry. So do we, do we need to adjourn the meeting before talking No, I think I'm, 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 I'm using my purview as, as the chairman to allow him to speak about it, and, and the issue has already been before us. Go ahead. So I know we're supposed to be playing a site walk for Pier Street, and I, we've been a little more delayed. So mm -hmm. when I went out there, I kind of told you guys before, is when we went out there, there was only a few flags hanging. Um, and I know it was a question at the meeting that Anthony from our office was at. Um, he had asked when the flag was asked when the flags were hung. So mm -hmm. the flags were hung in the spring before COVID is when we started uh, the latest iteration oh. of this site. And so okay. it's been maybe three years now, maybe. Ninety nine, yeah. No, not ninety. Not ninety nine. Two thousand nine. Two thousand nine. Right. Well, I'm yeah. off back. So what? Three, so three, three years. years. Ah, I think it's been three years now. That, that seems odd because it was, it, 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 was, it, was dur it was during COVID that a land trust came before us. For our, our test of approval, I guess, to put the land into a conservation easement, which never got approved. So they were trying to buy all the property from. Oh, is that what? Okay, yes. so they were kind of growing at the same time. Correct. Right. 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 So, uh, so the the people that own the property owned it for years. Right. They, they, right. They've tried to do different developments out of here, and so we actually had uh, originally had a flag back in 2003, 2004 by Chuck Hamer. Then Matt Moore went back out there. Nine, uh, two, I didn't say, I didn't say yeah, <laughs> 2019, so about three years from now, okay. uh, three years ago. Um, so then I went out there after we had a commission meeting, check to see if those flags, and I think Nick, you were out there too. Yeah, whatever. And so it was, there were some older flags out there, but not a lot of them. And so we had gone out there and rehung some flags. I walked the property with Matt after we hung some flags just to make sure I got my bearings out there before I had you guys come out there. There is one small area as you come off the site on your left-hand side that's going to be an open space that actually is a, a small addition to the wetland delineation. Mm -hmm. It's kind of popped up over the last few years. That's right off, uh, right off the curve. Literally, the literally right out, yeah. right off of your left-hand side. There's some ferns that have kind of popped up there, yeah. and it looks like the way it is is um, there's a couple cut roads that come in there. I'm sorry, a couple there, of there's a couple cut roads that come off the Car site, roads. and they yeah. kind of sit down a little bit now. Well, nobody's used the cut roads in, in years, and this area is uh, kind of just a flat area. Mm -hmm. The water's just been collecting there and kind of just created a small little wetland in between two cut roads. Happens. I mean, it's just, it, yeah. it, it's so it's, so we are going to be closer to that little area with regards to our entrance. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't want the commission to be shocked when we go out there and see it. I can show you kind of on the plan before, I can show you kind of what we're looking at. So Matt's supposed to go out there this week to hang new flags in that area. Okay. That's going to be added to our. Um, and he's just, he's been so busy that he hasn't had a chance to go hang up the new, hang new flags. Okay. So once I have that, I will set up a meeting with Nick. I'm hoping, so he's supposed to go out there this week, uh, weather dependent. I know he's has a bunch of jobs scheduled for this week. Yeah. Um, so I was hoping to either get out there at the end of this week, but I don't know with the weather for the end of this week, I know we'll just get some storms on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So if not, hopefully. early, hopefully early next week, we can 
get out there and walk it and come back okay. in, in two weeks to have a, a meeting to go over this and, and hopefully close it then but right. sure. I, I don't I, I don't want to make it seem like we were trying to delay anything it's just timing of Matt to get out there us to get out there to flag everything back mm -hmm. up again yeah. and it's a substantial it's a it's a large enough property yeah and then I know and I'm hoping when you guys see that I know the, the area that at the concern of the last meeting was the basin I'm mm -hmm. hoping everybody when you guys see the basin area I think it's going to be obvious. The proposed stormwater basin. Correct. Yeah. yeah, I think it's going to be obvious the delineation there, but also you're going to see the, the topo there and why we chose that area. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I think the site walk will be very valuable for the commission okay. um, to see that area to kind of see why we chose the areas that we did for the roadway and then also the the basin. Um, okay. But that that you small area. Have your maps with you. Uh, well, we we haven't like I said, Matt hasn't flagged it, but I can show you kind of where. Show up this step. Here. Right. So I will have this set, but I can show, I can show you. Uh, well, so you real, real quick, since we're still in the meeting, mm -hmm. if he presents this, does he have to show to the camera and make sure everybody No, no, I, I, I just want to give you an idea. No, I'm going to understand, I'm understand yeah, that I'll from an open meeting. Yeah, uh, we don't want to go far. I'm just kind of giving you an idea when we walk a property. I mean, if we'll walk in and I'll show you where the flags okay. are and we'll show it on the plan. But really, it's the area in here, and, and, and just kind of give me an idea. It's it's literally right off the left hand side of it. For the it's, it's, it's in the along the side though, just for the for the purposes of open meeting laws. What, what what is the name of the project or the site that you that you're talking about here? So it's uh, Great Realty Trust, and uh, off a project. It's off of Pier Street. Okay. Yeah. It's right at the corner, the shop shop corner of Pier Street. Yeah. And then also, since the commission knows that we did have our planning board meeting. Uh, oh, you did. Yes. Okay. And so. Do you, have, do you have any more still after that? Yes, we do have one planning board meeting. So. You guys meet in what? It's two weeks, three August weeks. August 9th. August 9th. Yeah. Yeah. So we meet the week after with the planning board. Okay. And so actually, if, if we can get the site walk with you guys, make sure that everybody's comfortable with the site walk, the site and the wetlands where the basin is, and that, that new area, really, the rest of the site, we're away from the wetlands. Right. Uh, and I think Anthony made a, I think made his point on that one. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. we try to stay away from the wetlands on the design. Yeah. Um, and so then, I, Nick, did you end up having a chance to talk with Mark Pimrini? Uh, no, I'm talking about yeah. right. so that. Was other thing too. So I know, and, and we, I can send out along the comments they had too, if you want me to. Yeah, yeah, that would be the D, uh, DPW yeah, we did re review the plans. The DB? Um, yeah, okay. No, DPW. Oh, DPW. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so Mark Henry and John Roseberry. Okay. Yeah. DPW, so. so, yeah, I know there was some talk about um, possibly hiring a third party uh, wetland consultant to review the flagging and stuff, but was it Mark Pemarini's? Um, you know, DPW has reviewed it already. I mean, it's up to the commission, but. Um, well, and that's what Nick and I talked to last week on the yeah. phone. Not to cut, sorry, Nick. Yeah. Is I think good. when the commission sees the areas, to me, they're very obvious. Some sites are difficult, and I can understand why you guys would want to hire a third party. Mm -hmm. But I would rather wait until the commission gets out there and sees the area. Okay. And I think it's, especially okay. the areas where we're yeah. close to, I think they're very obvious what's okay. well and what's not well. Yeah, um, and then if the commission does have a, a location that you want it to have double checked, then we can have that conversation. But. Like I said, I think it's going to be obvious, and in the way we designed it, it's everything so far away from the bottom. So okay, um, but hopefully we can get out there early next week if, if we can get this mapped out there this week and get everything plotted up and put on a plan, and we can have it for the sidewalk right. and have an updated plan for the commission. Right. And I do want to just say I appreciate you, you know, going out there and checking on that other site by the road because that is one thing that I noticed that you know it wasn't flagging around. And yeah, I, mean, I haven't spoken to you about it, so I'm just I'm I'm just glad that you guys are doing. No, and, 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 and that's what like I said, it, it was. It's been three years, and yeah. I was we were kind of shocked at it, it, something that kind of popped up. Mm -hmm. But like I said, it's kind of that pocket there between where a couple of cot roads come in. And, right. And I know um, this has been some development next door, so we weren't sure if some impact has been happening because yeah. of just difference in water flow too. So okay. okay. So, but it will you'll see it out on the site. Yeah, I'm mean, interested to see how how this new development, proposed new development, relates to the one that's already there through the woods. So. Yeah, and I, mean, I, I know the area that well enough. It, it's kind of an odd. It's actually there's a cart road that separates this from the other wetland too, mm -hmm. so it's kind of an odd situation, okay. but it's it's definitely popped up. All right, so you're saying I probably shouldn't wear my flip flops in there. I w I would wear long pants too. I would recommend yeah. wear jeans too. Right. It's okay. this is pricker bush. It's really brushy. Yeah. 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 Never mind that stick. Well, yeah. once once we get into the site, it actually it opens up and up, and, yeah. and you, we can get out fairly easy. We can follow yeah. the cart road right out to the yeah. up to the basin, but okay. the entrance part of it's it's thick. All right. So yeah. all right. Cool. Thanks, Wes. Cool. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks, Wes. Thanks. All right. All right. Moving on. So nothing under enforcement. Nothing under emergency certifications. Nothing under budget. Next meeting is August 9th, twenty twenty-two. Filing deadline was last Friday, July twenty-second at noon. 
Um, with that, I will make I'll take a motion uh, or entertain a motion to adjourn. Make that motion. Thank you, Jeff. Second. I will second it. All right. Uh, Ken. Aye. Rich. Aye. Liz. Aye. And Chuck. Aye. All right.